Hey folks, it's hot out there already. It's just the beginning of May and we're already seeing temperatures in parts of the valley up over 100 degrees. We're Grand City reporting 104 right now while it's 95 McAllen, 93 Westlaco and Harlan, and then a little cooler at the coast, about 80 at South Padre Island right now. You may have noticed that haze is back, the smoke's back in our skies, and visibility has dropped back down to moderate across the entire valley, which means people with heart lung disease can go out, but you should take it easy. Any respiratory problems is one of those days. Just kind of keep an eye on things, but uh, it's not going to get any better, I don't think, over the next 24 hours, but come Wednesday, it could change just a little bit. Low temperatures tonight will be in the mid-70s across the area. It'll be a warm and humid night, and then tomorrow, uh, we're back up close to 100 again, 99 in McAllen, 103 in Rio. A little cooler at the beach, about 84 at South Padre Island under mostly sunny skies across pretty much the entire area. But look at the difference here. We go from 97 tomorrow to only 89, which is still above average, but 89 on Wednesday. And then we bounce back to 93 on Thursday. And in a minute when we show you the seven-day forecast, you'll notice a pretty big change just in time for the weekend. If the models are right, and they're all kind of in agreement on this this time around. Not many clouds today. It's been a mostly sunny day across the area. And we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight. Just past clouds show up as temperatures again stay in the 70s all night long during the daytime tomorrow we're just mostly sunny it's a breezy and hot day and then tomorrow night into early wednesday could be a couple of showers around as a cool front approaches it's not a big chance of rain but a slight possibility this front as you saw cools it a little bit but not dramatically so we're still above average even behind this front and then we see partly sunny skies again pretty quickly for wednesday afternoon and we see some warm temperatures again thursday and friday it's when we get into the weekend that we see a bit of a cool down so your rain chances tomorrow night and early Wednesday at about 20% spotty showers around and then we're dry again for Thursday really for the daytime nighttime hours on Wednesday as well but take a look at that there's your weekend right now and for Saturday cloudy breezy much cooler right now we're forecasting a high of 75 on Saturday some showers and storms around and then for Mother's Day still cloudy a little bit warmer but still below average for this time of year 82 degrees with isolated showers around the region so the weekend at this point looks much cooler than the rest of the week. Much warmer right now across Texas. Look at that 101 all the way up to Abilene 100 in Odessa. Del Rio's 103. Laredo's 102. It is hot across the state and mainly rain free. We're seeing a couple of thunderstorms out toward the Big Bend. Some stuff up just north of the state in Oklahoma today. But as that next front pushes south, where here it comes. This one's not particularly strong, but it comes in early Wednesday. Could trigger a shower or two and then we're dry again for Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to start looking to the north because the next front due in here Friday night, early Saturday should cool things off just in time for the weekend. So for tonight, partly cloudy skies. Those clouds kind of thicken up later on, a low of 75. Tomorrow back up to an average high of 97. Western part of the valley will be hotter than that. Winds out of the southeast to east. As you look at the next three days, we've got a hot one for Cinco de Mayo, a spotty thunderstorm possible in the morning on Wednesday. Thursday's a dry day. Friday, probably dry during the day, but Friday night into Saturday, showers and thunderstorms are possible. A strong cool front comes in. Could cool things off pretty significantly for Saturday and still cool for Sunday, relatively speaking, for this time of year, and by Monday, back up around 88 degrees. That's your updated First 1-5 AccuWeather forecast.